lesson will be solving homogeneous ordinary differential equations and it's part two so if you want more practice on how to solve ordinary difference equations make sure to watch the previous lesson on homogeneous ODEs. so the first example which we're going to have is y sub n is equal to 2 y sub n minus 1 plus 3 y sub n minus 2. So remember that um, what we said about homogeneous ODE. We said it depends if the function of y or if the function of the independent variable is equal to 0 or when the right hand side is equal to 0. But now if we check, all these are dependent variables. So y subscript n and y subscript n minus 1 and y subscript n minus 2, all of them are dependent variables. So I can group them together like this. I can I can treat these two terms to the left hand side. And I'm going to have y sub n minus 2, y sub n minus 1, minus 3, y sub n minus 2 is equal to 0. So now what we're going to do here, we're going to use the method of undetermined coefficients. So with this method, what we must do is to assume a trial solution. So our trial solution will be of the form y sub, sub n is equal to a multiplied by lambda to the power of the independent variable n. So since I've got n minus 1 here, I must also find the expression for y n minus 1. And I do that by replacing the n in y n with n minus 1. And I'm going to have a lambda to the power of n minus 1. But Peter can further split this into a lambda to the power of n lambda to the power of negative 1. I must also find the one for n minus 2. I'm going to have y sub n minus 2 equal to a lambda. I replace n here with n minus 2 which will give me a lambda to the power of n, lambda to the power of negative 2. So I'm going to take these terms and I'm going to replace them where I see them in the equation. So I'm going to put it here, here, and here, respectively. So if I do that, I'm going to have y sub n, which is a lambda to the power of n, minus 2 multiplied by y n minus 1, which is this term over there. So that's a lambda to the power of n, lambda to the power of negative 1, then minus 3 multiplied by this term over here, which is a lambda to the power of n, lambda to the power of negative 2, and I equate that to 0. So what I'm going to do right now is to distribute. So this can be written as a lambda to the power of n minus 2, a lambda to the power of n. Since this one is to the inverse, I can bring it to the bottom minus 3a lambda to the power of n and then lambda squared then equal to zero now if we look i've got a common factor of a lambda n in both terms in all these three terms so i'm going to put it out as a common factor i'm going to have a lambda n multiplied by here i'll be left with one here i'll be left with minus two over lambda and here minus three over lambda squared and this will be equal to zero so if I've got two numbers multiplied together to give you zero, it's either a lambda n equal to zero or one minus two over lambda minus three over lambda squared equal to zero. But we said this is our trial solution and it must be non-trivial. So when we say it must be non-trivial, it means that this thing over here must not be equal to zero. Therefore, we're going to reject that a lambda n must not be equal to zero. So if I've got two numbers multiplied together to give you zero, but the first one is not zero, it puts train on the second one. It means the second one is the one that must be zero. The same logic will apply there. This means that this bracket here is the one which must be equal to zero. Therefore, one minus two over lambda minus three over lambda squared must be equal to zero. So now let's see, I'm gonna multiply all the terms by lambda squared. If I do that, I'm gonna have lambda squared minus two lambda squared divided by lambda which is just going to be 2 lambda and this lambda squared will cancel this lambda squared and i'm going to be minus 3 and this is equal to 0. now let's see if we can solve this so let's try to factorize 
So lambda, lambda. The factors of three are three and one. And they must be of opposite sides. So I'm going to put three this side and one this side. This means that the first lambda must be equal to negative one or the second lambda must be equal to three. So if you don't know how to factorize, you can also use the quadratic formula. That says negative lambda, lambda equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a, where the b, a, and the c are coefficients respectively of this. So in this case, a will be the coefficient of x squared, of which a is going to be 1, b is going to be the negative 2, and the c is going to be the negative 3. Then we put them here and we'll get both values of lambda respectively. So at first we said our trial solution was given by y sub n equal to a lambda the power of n. Well, for me to find my general solution or my complementary function, I have to replace n with c. So my solution will be y sub c, which means complementary function, is equal to a lambda n. But I've got two values of lambda, so meaning I must put the other term as well. But these values of lambda must not be the same. They can be the same, but if they're not the same, then you can put lambda 1, lambda 2. So, what is lambda 1? Lambda 1 is what we found here to be negative 1, and lambda 2 is 3. This means that the final answer is going to be y subscript c is going to be a, lambda 1 is negative 1 to the power of n, plus b multiplied by lambda 2, which is 3 to the power of n. And this over here is our general solution. Or our complementary function. So if you are given initial conditions, then you'll be able to solve for, for the constants. But in this case, we're not given the initial conditions, so we can't solve for the constants. So let's do the last example. So let's say we are now given 2x subscript r minus 5x subscript r minus 1 plus 2 x this and um, the equator to zero. Okay, so this is what we have over there. So how can we solve this? Well, we're going to assume a trial solution. Now our independent variable is now r and not x, right? So r is now our independent variable. So this means that we have to, f to solve the complementary function having r as the independent variable. So what will we have? I'm going to assume that x subscript r, which is this one, is equal to a lambda to the power of r. Similarly, I must find for r minus 1. So x subscript r minus 1 must be a lambda r minus 1, which can be written as a lambda r lambda um, negative 1. Then x subscript r minus 2, it's also a r this. Now I can break this apart into a lambda r lambda minus 2. And I'll take these terms and I, pl and I place them in this expression respectively. So if I do that, I'm going to have 2 times x sub r, which is a lambda to the power of r minus 5 multiplied by lambda um, okay, x r minus 1, which is this. Then I'm going to have a lambda r lambda negative 1 plus 2. I'm going to put for r minus 2, which is this one over here. It's going to be a lambda to the power of r lambda to the power of negative 2. And this is equal to 0. Now, if I do that, I'm going to multiply. So I've got 2a lambda r minus 5a lambda r. This one will go to the bottom plus 2 a lambda r and this one is a negative so it will go to the bottom and have a positive sign and this is equal to zero now i've got a common factor of a lambda r a lambda r and a lambda r so i'm going to pull it out so a lambda r multiplied by i've got two here i've got minus five over lambda here and i've got plus two over lambda squared and this is equal to zero like always, a lambda r must not be equal to zero. It must be a non-trivial solution. This means that 2 minus 5 over lambda plus 2 over lambda squared must definitely be equal to zero. Now, if we multiply everything by lambda squared, 
I'm going to have 2 lambda squared minus 5 lambda, right, and then plus 2, and this is equal to 0. So now how can we factorize this one? Well, I'm going to list, if you can check here, I've got two numbers, 2 and 2. If I multiply them, if I multiply 2 by 2, it's 4. And then 1 by 1, it's, it's 1. And then these two, if you add them, they'll give you 5. Now, what this means is that in our brackets, I'm going to have something like this. I must have this 2 here, lambda, and I must have 1 lambda here. So I must, these two things here will be my, my, my brackets, right? So this will be 2, 1, and 2, 1. So it's 2 lambda, then there's lambda there. The sign is a positive here. The sign is a positive, and the negative here. You must have opposite signs. And I'm going to put two this side and one this side. So how you factorize, um, if you don't know how to factorize using, if you don't know how to factorize or how to solve for lambda by factorization, you can always use the quadratic formula to help you do that. So for you to test yourself, you can always distribute to see whether it gives you back the ordinal function. Let's try that. Two lambda by lambda is going to be two lambda squared. Two times this is going to be minus four lambda. And then negative 1 multiplied by lambda is going to be minus lambda. And then negative 1 multiplied by negative 2 is positive 2 and is equal to 0. These two, if we add them, they'll give minus 5 lambda plus 2. And then uh, we've got 2 lambda squared. So this is exactly what we had at first. So now we have factorized our, our expression. This means that 2 lambda minus 1 is equal to 0 or lambda minus 2 is equal to 0. Now I can take this negative 1 to the other side. I'm going to have 2 lambda equal to 1, of which lambda is equal to a half. with the first value of lambda, or lambda 2 is equal to the number 2. But we said our trial solution was given by the form y. Okay, in this case it was x. x subscript r was equal to a lambda to the power of r. I've got two values of lambda. I must compensate for the other one. This will be lambda 1 and this will be lambda 2. So I'll just put the values of lambda in this expression and that will be my complementary function. So my complementary function or general solution is equal to A multiplied by lambda 1, which is a half to the power of R plus B multiplied by lambda 2, which is 2 to the power of R. And this is how you can. Use the method of undetermined coefficients to solve a system of linear ordinary difference equations. Thank you for watching.